Ever since its launch in 2009, the number one bar on the 50 best bars list has been in either London or New York. Until now. Barcelona is the new king of cocktails with not only the new best bar in the world, but three bars in the top 10. What makes this place such a cocktail paradise? Let's find out. Jet lag be damned, I've only got a few days, so I'm going to make the most of it and get started right away. Sips is currently number three in the world after only two years being open, and their approach to cocktails is whimsical to say the least. Their drinks are as delicious as they are grammable and the bar team is led by Simone Caporale, an absolute legend in the business. As a customer, I don't love the lack of bar seating. I'd prefer to have front row seats to enjoy the show, but if I was still working in a bar, I think this would be my dream setup. We're off to a good start, Barcelona. If you don't want to wait in line for sips, just a few steps around the corner is Solange, another cocktail bar with great drinks and a bit more of an elegant vibe. It's a great spot and you won't be disappointed, but my advice, line up for sips. It's worth the wait. Daytime drinking, aperitivo culture, is big in Barcelona, so today we're getting started early. Dr. Stravinsky is an apothecary-inspired bar serving drinks focused heavily on house-made ingredients. Their daytime menu features low ABV cocktails and tends to lean into the easy drinking, more refreshing direction, with some oddities like blue cheese infusions, which obviously I had to try. At night, an entirely different menu inspired by the solar system tends to be a bit more experiential. Both menus are delicious. I would know because I went twice to try them both. It, it was for research purposes.
Mariposa Negra, located just around the corner from Stravinsky, is a bar with a unique approach to cocktails. Every single drink has a custom piece of glassware, tailored to the cocktail, made by hand with 3D printing and ceramics. Even the light fixtures are handmade. The drinks, while not classified as tiki, certainly tend to lean that way in flavor profile. A very cool, very quirky bar. Great for a day drink. Barcelona is also home to tons of classic cocktail bars, and I mean that literally. Boadas, located right off Las Ramblas, first opened its doors in 1933. Tons of history in this almost 100-year-old bar, a great place to grab a daiquiri or a Jerez Collins. Just around the corner is the Caribbean Club, a tiki bar to its core since opening in the 70s. Small but packed with tiki memorabilia from head to toe, this is a temple of rum. Hidden behind all this construction is Ideal, a bar opened in 1931. They've mastered the classics but also tend to go a bit contemporary on their menu as well. When you've been around since 1931, you can do whatever you want. And the king of the classics is Dry Martini, an institution dedicated to the iconic gin drink. And I'm going to use this time to go on a rant. A martini is a martini is a martini. An apple teeny is not a martini. A chocolate martini is not a martini. Those are not martinis. That would be like calling every car you see a Ferrari. No. A martini is a martini and that's it. Stop calling every cocktail a martini. That's not how it works. Oh, also the bar, the bar is really good. This is Two Schmucks, number 7 on the 50 best list. They classify themselves as a 5 star dive bar and that's about as perfect a description as you can possibly come up with. A cozy neighborhood spot with a killer drinks list and a vibe that you won't find anywhere else on the planet. The cocktail program is about the only thing that they take seriously and it shows. What is going on here? I am so confused and I fucking love it. Absolutely legendary.
we made it we're here the number one bar in the world hidden behind a pastrami shop is paradiso the current king of the cocktail world what makes them the best bar on the planet it's the total package really a cocktail menu filled to the brim with showpiece drinks that excel in both taste and presentation a bar staff that understands the cocktails are supposed to be fun and it shows in their service every drink is a story every story is another memory worth sharing this is the type of bar that makes me love bars. It is incredible. I'm done talking. Let's just sit back and enjoy the show. Mm-hmm.